You can study in the morning, you can study at night. You can study outside by a campfire light. You can study with the rabbi. As soon as I came to Temple Beth David, I immediately realized that we have a bit of an obsession with the Aserta Devrot, the Ten Commandments. They're everywhere. They're in our sanctuary, they're on the walls, they're in the chapel, they're in the hallways, they're all over the place. What is it about these Ten Commandments? They're, they're certainly not more important than other mitzvot. We don't think of mitzvot as necessarily having uh, an hierarchy. So what is it about these Ten Commandments? And what do these Ten Commandments have to do with this time of year, with these days, Rosh Hashanah to Yom Kippur? Well, what are these days called? These days are called Aseret Yom Tshuva, the Ten Days of Repentance. The Ten Days of Repentance. From the first day of Rosh Hashanah until Yom Kippur, we have ten days in which we uh, earnestly reflect and think about who we are, who we've been, who we want to be. Aseret Dibrot, the Ten Commandments. Aseret Yom Tshuva, the Ten Days of Repentance. Could it be that these ten days are actually linked? Now, we could spend a lot of time going through each day and, and seeing how the first two commandments line up with the first two days, Rosh Hashanah, and how they build and grow throughout these 10 days. But I really just want to look with you at the last commandment, at the last day of the Aserat Yom Tshuva. The last day is Yom Kippur. And the last commandment is don't covet. Don't covet your fellow's house, your fellow's wife, manservant, maidservant, his ox, donkey, or anything that belongs to your fellow. Don't be envious of what someone else has. What is it about this 10th commandment? Well, it's interesting because if you follow this 10th commandment, it makes all the other commandments a lot easier, right? If you're happy with what you have, if you're happy with your house, you won't covet someone else's house. You won't steal from them. If you're happy in your relationship with your partner, you won't commit adultery. This 10th commandment actually gives us the key to how we fulfill all of the other mitzvot. And Perhaps the same is true with Yom Kippur. Yom Kippur gives us the key to how we can live every other day of the year, especially the Aseret Yom Tshuva, but every other day of the year with a heightened awareness, with a spiritual sensitivity. So what is that key? That key is don't covet. Be happy with what you have. What is that saying? Absence makes the heart grow fonder. On Yom Kippur, when we don't eat, when we don't wear leather, when we don't think about our comfort, in fact, we go out of our way to discomfort ourselves just a little bit. And then after the Chag is over, after the holiday is over, we come back and we have a big breakfast. We have a big meal. We even build a little vacation home in our backyard, in our sukkah, immediately after Yom Kippur. We are starkly reminded about how lucky we are, how blessed we are, and how we have no reason to covet anyone else. Our life is beautiful and worth living. And fasting on Yom Kippur, focusing on our spiritual selves on Yom Kippur, and eschewing some of the, the, the blessings that we ignore and, and, and really lose sight of on every other day of the year, helps us remember to not do that the other 364 days of the year. It reminds us how blessed we are, it reminds us how lucky we are. And when we have that that level of comfort, when we have that level of awareness, of spiritual awareness in our lives, then it makes fulfilling all the other mitzvot all the more easy. The Aseret Yimei Tshuva, the Ten Days of Repentance, and the Aseret wrote the Ten Commandments, they, li they line up, and there's a linkage, there's a connection. And perhaps if we can focus on that last day and on that last mitzvah, be happy with what you have. Don't covet from other people. Feel the blessing in your life and take one day a year, one day to starkly remind yourself of your blessings and how you can be a blessing in other people's lives. Then you have really lived up to the calling of Yom Kippur and I believe also to the Aserat Yibrot, the Ten Commandments. Wishing each and every one of you an easy, but most importantly, a meaningful fast in Yom Kippur. It's okay. We're bound to disagree Don't have to see eye to eye To make the Torah come alive Now that I've had my say Let's not waste the whole day